Your body can need mending in all sorts of ways, and we're going to meet some special teams that are trained to fix you. Today's fix is all about blood. Some people are missing proteins in their blood that make it clot, which can make them bleed for longer. If they get a knock, they can bruise easily and can bleed inside joints too, where it can be very painful. Conditions like this, where the blood doesn't clot as easily, are called haemophilia, and with the right medication, they can be treated. Meet brothers Ben, Zach and Jake. They all have haemophilia, which is managed by injections of medicine. They have to come to the hospital every three months for a checkup with a team that are experts in haemophilia. Morning. What can you tell me about haemophilia? Um, that if you injure yourself seriously, then um, it could lead to um, a big bleed. Mm -hmm. And what happens if you get a, a just a normal cut or a scratch? Um, I just got go and clean it and um, then carry on playing. And the medicine that you've injected keeps working in your body? Yeah. The injected medicine allows Jake's blood to clot properly and heal any cuts or bruises. This is Dr Granger and he's giving the boys their checkup today. Normal knobbly knees, no swelling on that. So they look like the, the normal shins of a ten-year-old boy, don't they? It's what I call healthy active boy bruises. Yeah. If he wasn't on his regular treatment, we would see very large sort of tennis ball sized bruises, which would often have sort of hard lumps in them, um, and they'd be a lot more black and blue. Now, this isn't Jake, and it might look a bit extreme, but even a small bruise can become a very big problem if the blood under the skin isn't stopped by medication. So the routine checkup is over, and it's back to school for the brothers. No pictures! Once you're 11, the clinic teaches you to inject the medicine yourself. Meet Mohammed. Have you ever had a big cut? Yeah, I, I can. Is that? I can see a very slight scar there on your forehead. There is. There. I was playing outside with my cousins, and then I went and fell on these rocks, and then I smashed my head. And when, when I went inside, I was panicking because I never knew what to do. So when Mohammed gets big cuts, he needs extra treatment. He needs more of his clotting factor, more of this special protein. Okay. Mohammed is going to show me how he injects his medicine. I mean, this is like you being your own doctor, nurse and TV star all at once, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, doctor, yeah. carry on. So now you describe this like a plane coming into land. Yeah. And it does actually, these needles look a little bit like planes, don't they, with their wings? Now I have to just take off the, the elastic and now let me just flush all this in. As the medicine goes into the vein, it mixes with the blood to help it clot, which means he'll get a scab if he cuts himself, which is what the doctors want. So it's amazing watching Mohammed do this because I really want to help. Do you know what I mean, Mohammed? I really want to get involved and be like, no, because this is what I'd normally do. So it's, it's lovely to have a patient just do it to themselves. We do teach the boys uh, to do their injections when they're 10 and 11, and um, so that Mohammed can now go off and uh, go on school holidays and have trips out without mum worrying whether or not he's going to have a bleed whilst he's out and about. Yeah. For Jake, Zach, Ben and Mohammed, their blood doesn't clot as easily. But the treatment and training they get from the team here helps their bodies fix themselves. I mean, in the case of Mohammed, he's not just getting treatment, he's learning to treat himself. Is Mohammed going to put me out of a job? <laughs> Our next patient's day was turned upside down by a bizarre accident. Better. Let's go meet her. We're at Liverpool's Accident and Emergency, where 12-year-old Carmen has a jaw that's giving her jib. What's the problem, Carmen? Um, I dislocated my jaw while eating. Oh, yeah. It is looking a bit wonky. How did you do that? It was lunchtime at school, and Carmen was with her friends in the canteen. Gosh, there's a long queue, Chris. I know, Zan, but don't worry, it's moving quickly. For you? But what was she getting for lunch? A triple-decker BLT? Nope. A jumbo pineapple? No, Zand. A bread roll. With a burger in it? No, Zand. Just a big, white, crusty bread roll. Oh! And when Carmen bit into it, she dislocated her jaw. Ouch! Are you sure there was nothing in that bread roll? It had butter on it. Hmm. I don't think we can blame the butter. Best get Dr. Shrute Messerhell to have a look. Can you open your mouth at all? <laughs> No? Oh, dear. That's about as much as you can do. Yeah. 
I'm just going to have a little look in. And it's clear that her jaw is dislocated, it's out of place. And what I need to do is relocate her jaw. I need to put it back into place. Inside your head are 22 bones which make up the skull. And two of them are in your jaw. There's the mandible, which is the largest and strongest bone in your face. And the maxilla. They're linked together by a hinge which allows you to open and close your mouth. And Carmen's hinge has become unhinged. Dr Shrook needs to get to grips with that sore jaw. I'm going to have to get on top of her almost and push really hard down and back. This may look uncomfortable, but Carmen's had painkillers, so it won't hurt. Ooh. Yeah. Good girl, good girl. Really Try not to bite me. Yeah, Carmen. She's not a bread roll. Well done. Does that work, Doc? Good girl. Bite. How's that? Better? Yeah. OK. Yay! That's what she usually looks like. How do you feel, Carmen? I feel sick after that, cos she was, like, pushing, and it felt like it was going to crack the oar and a quick x-ray shows that Carmen's jaw is A-OK. -okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to let you go home. So no big burgers or bread rolls or anything like that. Nothing hard, nothing that you need to really, you know, use your jaw for. What are you going to eat now, Carmen? I don't know. Bread rolls are, like, the only nice thing. Hasn't that bread roll taught you anything? Bye! Bye.